When you get this movie, the one you're, you're promoting now, South Pole, which we all saw and loved, now you didn't know anything about boxing really when you got into this role, right? I mean, you were no. not, you, you'd never done martial arts as a kid and you never, right? Yeah. So you decided to do a boxing movie. Kurt yeah. Sutter wrote it. Yeah. That's the guy from uh, Sons of Anarchy. Yeah. Uh, he's great, right? He's great. Great guy. Yes. And you he actually was my neighbor at one point. I but, remember I was hammering something in my house. And he was just like, I remember someone screaming, what the fuck is that noise? Stop fucking hammering. And I was like, who is that asshole? Right. And, he was like, and then we met up and I was like, oh, that's Kurt Sutter. Oh, yeah, shit. but he's a scary looking dude. Isn't <laughs> yeah. it? Like, he, he looks like he could kill somebody, yeah. for real, right? And then like it is in the movie business, <laughs> yeah. two years later we're making a movie. Uh, of course, yeah. yeah. Everyone's your best friend. Yeah, exactly. But you trained like um, it was uh, a real boxing match, right? Yeah. Because if I put on weight, I get a belly and tits. Yeah. Now, when you I'm put on... <laughs> same. You were, do you? Are you? Same. So what is the training for Southpaw? What do I have to do to get in that kind of shape? Because you're super ripped in that. Um, <laughs> I trained for five months. I trained twice a day for five months. Right. So I would I'd basically, I'd wake up in the morning, and over time I added miles to my road work, but I'd start at like three miles, and then eventually I was running eight miles, and then I would go and I'd work out for two hours. We'd do mitt work, heavy bags, speed did bags. Did you know so how you to do speed bags? Did you boxer oh, yeah. training? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Did I mean, you know how to do speed bags when no, you started? No, I didn't know how to do anything. Because I, when you hit that thing, it's hard. it actually is hard to hit a speed bag and do it. Oh, my, like, I didn't know how to jab. I mean, I, I, mean, I sucked. Right. I mean, and then over five months, you know, every single day, twice a day, you just start learning the techniques. I mean, it took me... Two months to get speed bag and like to feel confident. And did bag. you spar with people? Oh yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are they allowed to hit you in the face? Or because I mean, listen, man, you you you, you got good looks. You don't want to. My face, nobody gives a shit. Hit him. If you yeah, hit me, you want to make a, hit people like, oh, you got. Hit. People assume I've been hitting the face. So what? You, so when you're when you're in that situation, yeah. are they allowed to hit your face? They can't because no, you're in a movie. They can hit my face, yeah. and they did hit my face. But we body sparred for a majority of the the practice training sessions, right. and then we then we got into a full-on sparring and then six weeks out we sort of we got we sparred a bit and then we just started focusing on choreography because we had to choreograph all these fights right. you know it is amazing right. me how actors can get their bodies to morph into you know i mean it's a full commitment yeah well, man i mean actors it's just like to me everybody asked me what you know why would you not want to get hit in the face that's like you know that's the most important thing in acting and i'm always like the most the most interesting thing to me in acting is learning from people it's like learning what people are actually doing in real jobs that matter right do you know yeah and so if you get if you get hit, like that's that's part of the job, like, and you can actually learn something. In fact, there are a number of actors that should get hit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, right. yeah. and I actually am one of them. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know what get I mean? smacked around a bit. Yeah, it was fine.